Summer is not too far away here in Australia and it's been a really long time since I've kind of shared my concrete plans for the season ahead, what I am really feeling inspired by, the types of outfits that I'm planning to sort of recreate or at least inject into my usual repertoire, calling out any specific sort of themes that I am noticing, as well as any key items that I feel are sort of missing from my wardrobe. So I thought that's what we could do today. I have created a Pinterest board with a whole bunch of different outfits that are really inspiring me, that really embody the, I suppose, style identity that I feel my outfits are going to sort of be imbued with over the next few months. We're on our third year of La Nina weather patterns, which means that we're probably in for a bit of rain still. However, that's supposed to ease off in January. After that, I suspect it's probably gonna be business as usual. I'm gonna split this video into three parts, starting with the inspiration for the season ahead, the sort of outfits that I have in mind and that I wanna be wearing. The second part will be any sort of key themes that I've noticed, as well as the items in my closet that I feel are really quite representative of that. And then finally, I'm going to talk about the items that I'm really sort of trying to scout out for or that I'm seeking to add to my wardrobe quite seriously. While I do my wardrobe wishlist videos, those are definitely a little bit more of a fantasy or at least I let the fantasy of just having an endless amount of money run wild as I save all of these bookmarks. These are sort of the, the key items that I would really like to purchase for the season ahead. All right, so let's pull up my Pinterest board. I'm gonna put this full screen so that you can get a real sense. Um, and I think probably the first thing that I really noticed when I was actually scrolling through my Pinterest board is that it is all very neutral and very minimal in terms of color. Like there is not a lot of color. I wouldn't say I'm color averse. I'm definitely getting into adding things like greens and yellows and reds into my closet. However, I think I always come back to neutrals because they're what I know, they're what I love, and I find them really calming to look at. Now my process for putting this board together was to look through my spring summer inspiration folder which I already have on Pinterest and then save any of the images there to this new board that really kind of caught my eye and that I was very drawn to. It was all kind of quite natural and an organic process. Beyond that what I did was I started looking for very specific search terms in Pinterest to sort of see if I could find outfits centered around specific items. So for example, I really feel like mini skirts are something that I'm going to want to wear quite a bit over the summertime just because of how hot it gets here in Australia and additionally denim shorts. So just seeing if there are any sort of different ways that I can wear denim shorts beyond wearing them with a tank or with a really billowy oversized blouse. So that was my starting point and I think it's probably worth just highlighting the fact that none of the outfits that I have saved are groundbreaking. They're all very simple combinations, all the types of outfits that I may have worn before, but for me it is all in the styling and actually just the nuance of details of how particular items fit. So let's talk about the commonalities of the inspiration pictures that I have pinned, any sort of key themes and trends. And I think probably the most obvious one, to me at least, is that there is a real preference towards monochromatic and neutral tone outfits. And again, I don't really think that that's a surprise. It is definitely very much me leaning into things that feel comfortable and also familiar. And I believe when we are sort of curating our personal style, that's definitely something that kind of shines through. And I think Think that that shows that you've got a really strong sense of what you like and so I'm not mad about that at all so that's probably the first thing the second thing is that I noticed that there is actually quite a lot of texture I always tend to find that the spring and summer months because you are wearing fewer layers you're not kind of adding in things like knitwear because it might be too hot or at least in Australia it typically is Texture is a really difficult component to incorporate into your outfits, or at least it can feel that way. Sometimes your outfits can feel a little bit flat because you're opting for fabrics which have a very similar look and hand feel to them. So I kind of noticed that a lot of these outfits did have different textures. Uh, so there was a lot of this sort of knitted fabric. There was a lot of really crisp cotton poplin, denim. You've got that ribbed cotton as well, definitely uh, reflected in the tank. Of course, linen, which is one of my favorite fabrics to wear in the warmer months. And then sort of those straw bag type of textures as well. So this isn't new to me, but it is just getting me to think about how can I incorporate texture in an interesting way into my outfits for the summer months that's going to make me excited about about wearing basics on repeat. The other thing that really struck me is that all of these outfits are actually just centered around basics that I already own. So for the most part, there actually isn't any need to go shopping. I'm able to recreate or at least reimagine these types of outfits using things that are 
already in my closet and again I think that that just shows that real uh, strong sense of personal style and what I like. In terms of items that I saw popping up a lot there are a lot of kind of ribbed tanks all the racer style tanks nothing that is too dramatic in terms of the cut at the shoulder also a lot of oversized shorts so things that have quite a wide opening through the leg also a lot of trousers in cotton poplin or at least in slightly stiffer materials things that have a bit of structure to them which I absolutely love the look of with a tank I think I just generally have never gravitated towards wearing them in the summer because of the heat but if I'm wearing a fabric that is breathable should be doable so I'm gonna try it this year um, and also I noticed a lot of more chunkier sandals so things that have quite a thick sole that have a bit of heft to them and feel really quite robust I also noticed a lot of oversized shirts and of course denim shorts being quite a key one because that's something I tend to live in in the summer so in terms of what I'm planning to draw on from my existing wardrobe to sort of recreate reimagine this sort of style first let's talk about knitted tops so I've got a couple here this first one is a couple years old it's from the Uniqlo U collection and this is a really sort of breathable knit it's actually one that I've worn so much in the summer and I do have the same one in an ecru color as well I love that it's a rib texture and it does have sort of an open weave to it so it feels really breathable and it's very easy to care for and maintain it also has this drop shoulder effect so I find that that adds in an, another interesting element to the top I also have this one here which is from Cezanne and this is kind of like a mild mottled uh, grayish and navy tank this has a lot more structure to it so something that I actually really like to pair with things that are a bit more neutral so kind of beigey colors on the, my lower half I think it looks really chic and obviously you know it, it even though it is reasonably thick it's cotton so it's breathable and it doesn't cover too much skin on my shoulders or on my arms so those are kind of the knitted tops that I think I'll be reaching for quite a bit over the summer then we've got the cotton racerback vest or cotton raceback tank so I've got a couple here one being in your classic white this one's just from H&M and actually is one of my favorites because the fabric is so soft washes really well too uh, and I am kind of planning on getting this in the black as well because that's something that I don't actually have in my wardrobe at the moment so spoiler alert for something that I'm planning to purchase then I also have this really pretty yellow one which is from assembly label and this is a slightly thinner fabric uh, but really nice and comfortable and breathable and it has a very similar fit to the H&M one I like having it in this beautiful sunshine yellow it injects just a little burst of color into my outfits without feeling too over the top then we've got some oversized shirts so I've got a couple here one being really really long you will recall I've got a black one uh, like this is from our cat um, in the same sort of really long length which I actually quite like worn with a slim fitting trouser underneath I think it's a really quite chic look especially if you only have a couple of the buttons done up but also looks great done as a half tuck or just fully tucked into some shorts so this is one that I'm planning to wear quite a bit and it is in quite a thick linen I obviously you can see it's not fully opaque so you do need to wear flesh tone underwear with it uh, this I have in the 34 by the way I did size down because it runs incredibly large um, I believe this is one of their classic sort of year-round type styles and then the other one that I've got is a light blue shirt from H&M this one I've had for a few years now and I sized up to a large just to get that oversized fit because it was more of a um, regular relaxed fit and I want it to be really loose and and quite roomy and yeah this one it's just in this quite sort of thin cotton and I like that because it really just hangs and drapes quite nicely it is a cotton poplin though so it does have a little bit of that structure to it but not as much as say uh, the boyfriend shirt that I've got from Jenny Kane talking about cotton poplin I think probably the one item in my closet that comes to mind that sort of feels like it fills that vibe is this dress from Ginger and Smart. This is a really beautiful shirt dress and it actually reminds me a little bit of the styles that they do at COS. Um, I really like this one because I feel as though it is quite versatile in terms of how and where you can wear it in terms of styling. Uh, this would be a great one for the office. I think it comes in a really nice green as well but obviously I went for the neutrals. Um, and yeah I really like the way that it just hangs on the body, the way that the cotton poplin moves um, and it does have this beautiful belt too which allows you to really accentuate the waist and um, looks really lovely and of course because I want to get a little bit of a breeze I do 
tend to wear it with the bottom buttons undone which is great because then you get a little peek of your legs as you're walking too and this is one that I have worn a bit with kind of chunkier sandals as well which I think looks really really nice I think it's quite a modern way to wear it a couple of pairs of trousers here which I think sort of fit the inspiration um, images so first up we've got this pair from Cos these I purchased a couple of months ago and they're in this lovely cotton twill they've got the beautiful pleats down the front and they are a crop style very high waisted um, they look great worn just with one of those white ribbed racer tanks or even a black one I think would look great also have this pair from H&M which I purchased I want to say over, over a year ago for sure I was it was definitely before I uh, got pregnant with our second and these are a linen rayon blend if memory serves me and I've got these in a few different colors actually because these trousers are so good but this kind of is one of those things that would also add that linen texture in would also be interested in maybe something that fits a little bit wider through the leg denim shorts of course got a call out to all of my faves my Everlane A-line denim shorts which I have in four colors I'm embarrassed to admit but they are my favorite in terms of the cut A-line silhouette is so so flattering and then I also have this um, white pair here these are from Arquette and these are more of a straighter cut I like that they do have that wide leg opening as well which I think is just much more flattering than anything that sort of hugs the thigh um, the denim quality on those is great too but I feel like this is a way to um, sort of replicate those more monochromatic or tonal creamy colored looks. The straw or raffia bags, of course, I'm going to be pulling out my Loewe straw bag. I've said this before, you don't need to splurge on this. It is nice, um, it's a nice version of what it is, but you can easily uh, support a small artisanal maker and buy a bag from them and get the same look. Um, I quite like the small size though because I feel like it's just enough to fit all the essentials, but I do use the dust bag so that nothing falls out because it is just open for anyone wondering <laughs> mini review there I also have this kind of raffia bag which is very much inspired by Prada and this was an H&M find actually I mean I think that one might have come in beige too final thing are sandals and I'm just going to take the ones I'm wearing off so I can show you um, because they sort of fit into that dad sandal trend hang on they're the Jerry Sandal by The Row. I bought these on sale and they're incredibly comfortable. I have found a more affordable alternative to these, which I'm going to link below, as well as a pair on Etsy, which are in a leather and very much inspired by these. Uh, but they're just so, so comfortable. I think they actually look really chic and not too orthopedic at all. That's just my take. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely adore those. And then I also have a pair from Tibby. They're these ones here and they're in a navy with crystals on them. So they have this slightly feminine, elegant, touch uh, which I really like uh, but then the actual sole itself it's quite wide and sort of almost paddle like in a way and I feel like that sort of plays into that whole dad sandal or chunky sandal trend on my shopping list first up is a black silk slip midi skirt I have one already but it is really showing signs of wear and tear it's got pulls all over it and it's actually just in a polyester I'm thinking about purchasing this from Quince because I have the sort of taupey color and I love it I love the fit it's very comfortable and it's quite a thin silk as well which I think is perfect for a really hot climate second is a pair of tan sandals now I did have a Hermes dupe they're from June called the loop or looper slides and these I have to admit I originally I thought that they were great they're so so comfortable but they did not wear well at all I think I wore them around 20 times and maybe by the 10th time that I wore them the leather had cracked and they were just starting to look really really worn and for me I want to be able to wear a pair of shoes every single day of the summer if I really want to and they def definitely didn't cut it so I need to find a replacement for those ideally I want them to be slides a brand that I'm thinking about sort of exploring uh, is a Emery I would really love to try on their sandals I think they've got a lot of nice barely their styles which is definitely something I saw reflected a lot in my inspiration images now I know I've got quite a few white oversized shirts already some are in storage but they're all more of a thicker cotton poplin or they're in a reasonably thick linen what I would really love is something that is in a cotton lawn or something that maybe is a blended fabric that kind of has this wispy floaty ethereal nature to it that's going to kind of pick up the wind and, and flutter about that's what I want out of my oversized white shirt possibly something that is in a short sleeve and that is almost tunic length 
maybe. I think the brand Posse might do something that sort of fits the bill. I'm going to do a little bit more research, but that's what I'm looking for and I found that it's actually a style that is really, really difficult to track down. Longer length shorts, uh, I'm really liking that sort of wide A-line fit, so potentially maybe looking at getting a pair of either creamy beige or black shorts like this. I did purchase a pair of Bermuda shorts from Uniqlo and a navy. I want something that is slightly shorter than that, but that is slightly longer than the denim shorts and the other sort of more tailored shorts that I have. So looking for that Goldilocks moment. I don't have any brands or anything like that on my radar right now. Final thing is a new belt and I really want something that has a lot of structure to it. I love my Anderson's belt so much, but it's quite a soft leather and I want something that looks a little bit more refined and that looks a little bit more formal in a way to kind of um, contrast against my more casual outfits. I did see one from We May Not and that one has this beautiful white stitching. I think that might be the one but I do just want to do a little bit more research to make sure before I pull the trigger on it. So those are kind of the items that I'm thinking about adding to my wardrobe for the summer. Out of everything I'm going to be prioritizing getting the tan sandals because that is the obvious choice for me. It's the item that really is actually missing from my wardrobe and that I think would enhance my spring summer looks the most just because I do like to wear a lot of lighter colors like what I've got on today and I've either got a black sandal or a dark burgundy sandal as my options and I would like something that is lighter so that I can pull off those tonal looks again so that is a little glimpse at what I'm planning to wear over the summer I hope that you enjoyed watching this and if you would like to see a summer capsule wardrobe then please let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching for spending some of your day with me I hope you have a beautiful week I will see you next time with a brand new video see you very soon bye